In a previous video we looked at the Oubliette, a small chamber underground in a dungeon that prisoners were just thrown into and forgotten. Inside the Oubliette, prisoners would go mad being forced to sit in the darkness with no food and water, and they would simply die a horrific death. Inside the Tower of London was a tiny cell, similar to an Oubliette, which would strike fear into the hearts of any prisoner. Known as Little Ease, much of its existence today remains a mystery, and it's been lost to time. Today we look at the tiny cell that terrified prisoners inside the Tower of London, Little Ease, and remember, to support our channel please make sure to subscribe. Before looking at Little Ease, we need to consider one of its first prisoners. In 1534, a yeoman warder or beef eater and woman was stopped whilst exiting the Tower of London by a group of knights watchmen. The man in question was the guard's colleague, John Board, and the lady was Alice Tankerville, a convicted thief and prisoner. We've looked at their story in a separate video, and it had a horrific end, however this moment marked the first known escape attempt by a woman. The guard, John Board, had been an accomplice to the crime, and as he was a beefeater himself, he was treated incredibly harshly for bursting a prisoner out of the Tower of London. For his involvement, Board was racked, but also thrown inside the strange but horrific torture cell known as Little Ease. This small chamber was 1.2 square metres wide, and its name translates as not very comfortable. It was used during the reigns of the Tudor and early Stuart monarchs, but would have been horrific. Imprisoned inside Little Ease, a prisoner could not stand, sit, or lie down, as the cell wasn't tall enough or wide enough. So this caused the prisoners inside here to have to crouch for 24 hours a day, in complete darkness. This caused a slow but horrendous agony for the poor soul, and the mental strain would have been even worse. The pitch black and dark environment could cause a prisoner to go mad with frustration, and they could very easily have completely mentally deteriorated. The mental toll that being imprisoned in San Little Ease would have would have been horrific, and the prisoners would have wanted their lives to be over extremely quickly. Being imprisoned inside Little Ease wouldn't be a short term thing too. A prisoner could be very easily housed there in the horrendous conditions for days on end, and even weeks. Other methods of torture would also be used on a prisoner inside the small cell, for example the rat could also be used later. This would obviously inflict a huge amount of pain and brutality onto the prisoner, so they could be incredibly broken inside Little Ease. The reputation of the cell quickly spread across Tudor society, and it was reserved for those people who had committed only the worst and most serious crimes, and the intention was clearly to physically and mentally break a prisoner. It is mostly during the 15th and 16th century where the Tower of London gains its brutal reputation from, and it was during these times that mostly torture was deployed upon prisoners. As the tower grew and grew, and as the royal family decided to rarely use the place as a fortress, it became the place to house prisoners, be it political dissidents, criminals, or religious prisoners. The Tudor monarchs were in their own times plagued by rebellions, conspiracies, plots and invasions, and the fear element in society was there to bring everyone into line, and this was a pivotal thing. The monarchs needed to put people off offending and committing crimes, hence why heads were left on spikes following beheadings, and the need for a deterrent was key. The reputation of Little Ease would be another element of this. John Board would eventually confess to having planned the escape of Alice Tankerville for the love and affection he bore for her, and the state papers of Lord Lyle, written at the time, would document that John Board is in Little Ease in the tower, and is to be racked and hanged. Today the location of Little Ease is relatively unknown, and it's believed by some to be in the dungeon of the White Tower the remarkable castle building that sits in the centre of the tower complex. Others believe that it's found in the basement of the old flint tower, but today visitors can't see it. For some reason it was either torn down, walled up, or lost to history a long time ago. The 1.2 metre square cell was built into the thickness of the wall, so it must remain somewhere inside the tower. Throughout the 16th century, the name of Little Ease does pop up in official documents and records from inside the tower. For example, on the 3rd of May 1555, Stephen Haps was held in Little Ease for two or three days for lewd behaviour and obstinacy, and was held there until he may need further investigation and to be examined further. Also on the 10th of January 1591, Richard Topcliffe took part in the examination and interrogation of George Beasley at the Tower. Beasley was a seminary priest, and was examined with his companion Robert Humberson. The records state, if you shall see good cause caused by their obstinate refusal to declare the truth of such things, as shall be laid to their charge, in Her Majesty's behalf, then you shall by authority 
hereof commit them to the prison called Little Ease, or to such other ordinary place of punishment as have been accustomed to be used in these cases, and to certify proceedings from time to time. Another famous prisoner to be thrown inside Little Ease is that of Guy Fawkes, one of the conspirators who had planned to blow up the Houses of Parliament and subsequently kill King James I. Guy Fawkes was the most famous of the plotters having been caught, sitting pretty much on the barrels of gunpowder inside the cellars of the Houses of Parliament. He was clearly guilty and all the guards needed to do is get a confession from him and also get Fawkes to confess the names of his co-conspirators. Fawkes would be subject to horrific torture, including using the manacles, where he was suspended for a long time in the air, and he would also be put on the brutal rack. His racking was so severe that it's evident of his pain and his signature of his confession, as he can hardly write his name. Guy Fawkes would find himself also inside Little Ease, and was shackled hand and foot whilst inside there, but we don't know how long he was kept inside the cell. Chances are this torture method would prompt him to consider the need to confess to co-conspirators. After Fawkes' imprisonment and ordeal, it was reported that year that the room of Little Ease was disused. Little Ease was a horrific and tragic torturous room in which would certainly break a prisoner. The extremely cramped and horrifying conditions would be enough to make those held in there break down physically and mentally. The 1.2 metre square cell would cause the body to wear down and would be enough to make a prisoner confess their crimes. It's a shame that today Little Ease is lost inside the walls of England's most famous and brutal prison, as it would be remarkable to see the constraints that the people would have had whilst they were held inside there. Once again thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again, thank you so much for watching.